Well, here's the casting. Just washed uh, the Petra Bond off it, and it's ready for machining. Cut that off there. This is going to get cut off a bit higher. Uh, this is the bit that then bolts to the lathe, and then this is the bit that the stepper motor will bolt to with the shaft running through it. So pretty simple, but I didn't really want to take a big lump of virgin uh, aluminium and then mill out all of these components. I thought I'd just cast something that's close to the final shape and then mill off just the excess, which uh, should save a fair bit of metal. Anyway, it's looking good. Pieces machine for now. I'm going to do uh, a layout for the milling at both ends on the laser. Got the laser set up. Okay, the milling's done on that side. The uh, finish is. Well, it's not too hot, no, yeah, it is. So Two mil down to set the motor in, another two mil down for the centre bore that I'm actually going to traditionally bore out. Alright, let's see uh, a bit of a test fit. That's the coupler that's got a spin in the middle. Nice. Alright, mounting holes and uh, we can put it together. Alright, let's do a test fit and see if all of the machining works and the holes line up. Okay, that's snugged up. And thankfully the bed of this is just a hair lower than the bed there, so that is good news. Now let's put in the coupler. So the coupler's got um, grub screws, which is why you need access to the top to make it easy. The grub screws now on the shaft of the motor. I reprinted the center with some nylon to make it a bit tougher and stronger. Printed a little 3D cover, sort of clips on to the, the shape of this. If I don't break it in the interim, there we go. Slides backwards and forwards so you can still get to the um, grub screws if you need to do something. But slides shut so that you're not going to get uh, crap in it from swarf and oils and things like that. Um, I do need to do some cable management but for now I'll just zip tie that out of the way. Let's see how it works. Slow jog. Fast. Nice and quiet. 